Would you like your voice to sound like a robot? There are numerous reasons why you might want to do this. You could be doing a video game or animation where a, a robot type character appears. It could be a, a, something in an audio book that the author has asked you to do because a, you know, a robot appears. So you they want a specific voice for that, an electronic sounding voice. Or it may just be for a commercial, for example, if, if a client on Fiverr wanted you to, to find the effect and, and do it. So we're going to use Audacity and there are several ways of, of doing it. But I think the simplest way is the way I'm going to show you. And I think you'll, you'll get a pretty good idea. The most important thing, I think, is to deliver your lines correctly at the beginning. So it's not just about the effect, although that, of course, is extremely important, but it's about the way you deliver your lines. So you've got to deliver your lines like a robot before you apply the robotic effect. Here's our robot script. Now, you can't deliver it like you would an ordinary voiceover. If you were doing a, I don't know, a, a straight piece of narration and you had to sound friendly, you couldn't go, I am a robot, model TQ478. I am here to help you with your daily tasks. To activate, please switch on my circuits. I mean, you just can't, you can't do it like that. So you would have to adopt the tone of a robot, which would tend to be clipped quite slow and monotonal as well. So that kind of monotonous sort of voice. Let me try and give you an example. I am a robot. Model TQ478. I am here to help you with your daily tasks. To activate, please switch on my circuits. I think that was pretty okay. So let, let's try and apply a, an effect to that and see what it sounds like. I've imported the audio into Audacity. Here's the waveform. So let's take a listen to it again. So this is my untreated recording that I did. I am a robot, model TQ478. I am here to help you with your daily tasks. To activate, please switch on my circuits. And now what I want to do is create an effect on it. And I think the best one for this kind of uh, task is to use the vocoder. Now, vocoders, you probably know, have been used for a long time now on musical tracks like, uh, like Mr. Blue Sky by the Electric Light Orchestra, you know, that kind of, Mr. Blue Sky, that sort of thing. But I'm going to apply it not to singing, of course, but to the spoken word. So let's go to effect and then distortion and modulation. And there's lots of options. You've got distortion, phaser, tremolo, vocoder, wah wah. You could probably use any of those, but I think the vocoder works best if you if you require a robot. So let's do that. And I tend to like Audacity's default settings, so I try not to alter any of these. If if I was to extend the distance, it would become a very unfocused piece. So I'm just going to apply that. Let's see what happens to this waveform. Okay, you can't really tell very much, but let's have a listen and see what it sounds like. I think that was fairly robotic. However, I'm just thinking to myself, I wonder whether it would be better if that distance number was reduced from 20 down to 10. Sometimes less is more in voiceovers. And I think that will make it perhaps a little bit clearer to the listener. So let's try doing that. Here's my waveform again. So let's go back up to effects. And then I could go repeat vocoder, but that would just simply apply again what I'd already done. And that would make it doubly robotic so we probably wouldn't be able to decipher what was being said so instead let's go back to distortion and modulation and down to vocoder it was on 20 
So let's bring it down to, if I can get it to catch at 10. There we go. Oh, no, I've gone back to 11 again. Hang on a sec. This is really difficult. OK. All right. Now let's apply it. And see what it sounds like. I am a robot. I am here to help you with your daily tasks. To activate, please switch on my circuits. There's not a huge difference, is there? But I think it's just, it's quite subtle, but I think it's a little bit clearer. Although I have to say, when I say the model number, that gets a little bit lost. But you could try experimenting with that and some of the other parameters as well in Audacity to see what you, you get. But I think you'll agree it's quick and easy and really is very effective. So I hope that helps and I look forward to seeing you next time. Look after your voice.